Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. Well, I thought something was really cool, so let's get started. Now, if you guys didn't know, you could actually export 3D models from the game to actual 3D objects that you can view in your game. So I actually put some stuff here together to show you guys how to do that. And it's really, really cool. Now, right here, I have a battery. So if I want to export this model, right, I could just point at it like I'm going to copy it or clone it or something like that. And instead of pressing the keys, control B or control V, you know, stuff like that to uh, copy and paste. Uh, you would do Control alt e now at this point it's actually going to export the model and this actually takes some time but what's really cool is that as this is happening it comes out into an obj file which you could actually open in a lot of 3d programs like blender or windows actually has its own little uh, 3d modeling program as well so you can use that too and then from exporting that you could also export it into a STL file so your 3D printer could actually print it out. And that's what's something I will be doing today. So as we're waiting for this to happen, and I already exported this model, hopefully um, it works. So this is my small grid object file. You see, once it's done, it says it's all converted and it gives you the file name. It exports to your desktop, so you don't have to go searching for it. And in here, I have my little file. Now there's OGB. OG, OBJ file right over here and all I have to do is extract it so I use 7-zip it's just easier now you do want to extract it instead of just opening it because it comes with all the textures and it shows you what you took a picture of and all you have to do is open the OBJ file and 3d viewer from Microsoft Windows should be able to open this file no problem and I'm going to show you guys how it looks and there we have it this is the actual battery that we just exported and it stays with all the colors that you chose which in our case white it would be in the white over here you got the gray all over and it looks really really cool now if you wanted to you can actually export an entire model so this is something that i could do as well but um, i'm not going to do it in this instance and click on it because it does take some time to export something like this and i already did it just before so I'm going to show you how that looks like. Um, the Atmo constructor. I open that file and open the OBJ file. This does take a little bit to load because it does have a lot of models in there. And you could go from any size or any plane you want. Now, here's the thing. Let me load this up and I'll tell you the prerequisites, you could say. And there we have it. Once it loads, look at that. Obviously, it doesn't have all the shading that this game has. You see like all the lighting and all that stuff, but it shows exactly how the ship would look. Even the little tiny damages that they would have on these corner pieces um, right over here. It shows it on the ship as well. You got the little Atmo stuff, the colors, the textures. And if you want to play around with how the model looks or if you wanted to actually make some sort of like, I guess, video using this instead of having to do it in Space Engineers, and here you go. Now, to export it into a 3D model, now I can't do it with this. This is going to take forever. But with the battery, you could just right click. Oh no, it's actually in file, I believe. And you could just open it up that way. So let me show you right over here. And to export this, you could just do this. Print 3D. Or if you want it as a background because you're working on a ship or something, you could save as image. So you don't have to position yourself. You can actually do whatever you want here. So I'm going to go to print 3D. It'll actually open another program that Microsoft has that will actually convert this into a STL file. Just give it one second and you kind of see it loading in the back. Now from here, uh, I don't know why it got rid of all the details. It worked before, but uh, you could actually turn it into STL or you could import this into any type of editor that you use, FreeCAD or anything to export it into an STL. And STL is a file that uh, 3D printer softwares use uh, to turn it into a G code so you can print it out. So here's one thing about it. The latest version of Space Engineers is broken with exporting models. I don't know if it's because of the new wheels or the new stuff that they didn't implement yet. So I, this is actually one version behind. I don't know if I can show you this. Yeah, right here. 
1.195 you see it on the bottom right it's one version behind the latest version with the new wheels and all that other stuff so if you have something that's brand new on that they didn't fix it yet so that you can't export any 3d models you're just gonna get an error but if you move one version back and you have a model that doesn't take all those new uh, wheels or anything you should be you still you should still be able to export it like normal now here's a little thing that i 3d printed which is the battery that we are looking at right now so originally i was actually gonna just 3d print the battery and keep it on my desk because it looks really cool with all the textures and everything then i decided to make it functional and i found it on thingiverse where somebody actually took the same design of this and probably did it the export and turned it into a battery holder so that's what i'm printing out and Honestly, what I'm going to be doing with this is actually giving it away. So yes, this is now going to be a giveaway. All you have to do is actually just like the video and comment down in the bottom. And I'm going to choose the number of comments. So if it has 30 something comments or 40 something comments, I'll just take a random number generator, pick one of those out. Uh, and if you did comment twice, it doesn't count. I'm just going to remove one of the numbers. But yeah, I'm going to pick a random number generator and then I'll announce it on the channel to see who's the winner. And at that point, you could just uh, email us or reach out to us and then we'll work out all the logistics. But yeah, I am actually going to 3D print this. And here's the model on how it looks completely 3D printed. Um, right now, I don't have silver filament. So the top still looks dark. You could probably spray it silver, but everything else is um, white, but gray and all that other stuff uh, the way it's supposed to look. And honestly, I think it looks really, really cool, especially when it's 3D printed. And if you got the filament colors like white, and if you wanted to make the white blue um, to make it look similar to what you would find on a planet lander or something like that. What is it? Something like, uh, yeah, if you wanted to print, uh, do something like this, where it's blue, you could probably just take the white one that I have and color it blue or spray paint it blue or do whatever you want to change the color to it. But I just left them white because those are the filament colors that I actually had. In the future, uh, after we design maybe a bigger ship or something, I might take that into a 3D model and do the same thing, print it out and see how it looks. So something like that might be coming in the future. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. It was a short, simple video that I wanted to show you guys how to export 3D models and you can play around with it. And if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, I'll also leave the link to the Thingiverse battery holder if you guys wanted to 3D print it yourself as well. So you could just grab it on the descriptions down below. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.